Hello everyone, let's start with question number 10. So in this it says which of the following equation has no real roots. So we are given with 4 equation and we need to check whether the equation has real no real roots or not. So for no real roots, the equation must be d less than 0. This must be satisfied so that we can say that they are they have no real roots in it. So let's check with the first one. So we have x square minus 4x plus 3 under root 2. So d we know is b square minus 4ac. So b in this case is minus 4. That means minus 4 square minus 4ac. a is 1. c is 3 under root 2. So we get 16 minus 12 under root 2. So when you solve 12 under root 2, we know the value of under root 2. Under root 2 is 1.2. 414. So when you put this value and solve this, you will get answer as minus 0 0.968. So you can see that it is lesser than 0. So therefore, my first equation itself has no real roots. So right option for this is A part. And we can check for others too as well. Let's check for B first. So D equal B. B is 4. 4 square minus 4 AC. A is 1. C is minus 3 under root 2. So we get 16 minus 12 under root 2 plus 12 under root 2. So this will be actually greater than 0. So when you solve this you will get 16 plus 12 under root 2. That means my D is greater than 0. So therefore this is this equation has two distinct real roots. So my B is cancelled out. My C part. C part is D equal B square minus 4 AC. B in, in this case is minus 4. Minus 4 AC. A is 1. C is minus 3 under root 2. So we get 16 plus 12 under root 2 again. Again it is greater than 0. So therefore it has two distinct real roots. Now the D part. The last part we have is. 3x square plus 4 under root 3x plus 4. So d equals b square. b is 4 under root 3 whole square minus 4 ac. a is 3. c is 4. So we get 4 under root 3 whole square. So when you solve 4 under root 3 whole square you will get 16. 16 into 3 that is 48 minus 4 into 3 into 4 is 48. So 48 minus 48 you get 0. So when our D is 0 that means it has two real and equal roots. So again my D part is cancelled out. So the right option is A part which has no real roots in it. So that's your answer for question number 10.